But today we're going to talk about why. Why Flat Earth is, is important. And, and to whom? Who, who's it important to? Now, in order to answer that, you gotta you got to understand that truth isn't important to everybody. Even Christians, sadly enough, truth isn't all that important to them. The only thing that's important to them is that they're saved. That's what's important. Um, and that's why they're constantly talking about salvation issues in Scripture. If you talk about a specific truth or a specific, a specific subject, to them it always comes back to, well, is it a salvation issue? Well, it could lead to one. It could lead to one. You see, evolution isn't a salvation issue, but it could lead to a salvation issue. Um, flat Earth isn't a salvation issue, but it could be the root of the problem that leads to a salvation issue. So, so to me, all truth matters. You know, Jesus Christ said, I am the truth and the life. I'm, I'm pretty certain <laughs> to Jesus, the truth matters. I know to God, truth matters, absolutely 100%. To me, it matters. To me, truth really, really does matter. Um, why does it matter? Well, it matters for a number of reasons. Because, in my opinion, the most powerful thing we have in this world is truth. Love is very powerful. But love without truth means nothing. There are a lot of people that think they're in love or think that they're with somebody that loves them and it may not be the truth. You see, love can be disguised in many ways. And we've got, we've got an enemy that disguises himself behind the word love. And he's going to trick a lot of people by appearing loving. The angel of light. And so love for me isn't necessarily the most powerful thing in the world. I think in these days of increased knowledge, I think the truth is the most powerful thing we have right now. And I think that's why God is pouring truth out into this world as we speak. Because it is very important that we speak in truth. You know, God said that he is looking for those that worship in truth and in spirit. To God, truth is very, very powerful. It separates you from those that are not worshiping in truth and in spirit. So are you worshiping in truth and in spirit, or are you worshiping in self and lack of spirit? Are, are, you, are, you, are you suggesting that your salvation is the only important part of this journey with Christ, of this journey here in this very deceitful world? Because I would assert that, that if you are not living in truth, or if you're not, if you're not seeking truth, then you're no better off than those that are deceiving or those that are deceived. The truth is very powerful. And, and for that reason, YouTube, Facebook, Google, I mean, you can go across the board of digital messengers and see where the truth is being purged. There's things you can talk about, there's things you cannot talk about. You might get a knock on your door if you're a truther, from some very powerful authorities and they'll tell you we don't mind you talking about A, B, and C but the minute you cross over to D we're going to have an issue you might stumble across information in your journey of seeking the truth that they don't want you to know and they certainly don't want you to share and so this is why a lot of these YouTube channels my channel included have been stopped or shut down or paused as a warning that you've crossed the line. So there are certain things in this truth that, that are forbidden. And you're going to find that out as you begin to deliver these truths or as you begin to look around for these truths. You're going to see that there are entities out there that do not want this truth known. But let me, let me get back to why, why is flat earth important and to whom? Well, Flat Earth is important to those that want to know the truth. I'm one of them. I haven't met a truther or a Flat Earther that didn't begin this journey with a feeling in the pit of their stomach that something wasn't right. You see, real truthers 
didn't begin here, they began in the pit of their stomach. Because there's something about us that, that we just, we just know that, that, that we're being lied to. We just know that something isn't fitting. Something isn't sitting right with us. We, we know. Something's not right. Something's wrong here. And it's that feeling in the pit of your stomach that most of us have known most of our lives that gets us out of that starting game. Because you can only live with that feeling for so long, and especially in these days of increased knowledge, where you can't, you know, you, you, you can't go on the internet, you can't go on YouTube without finding at least some truth being exposed at some level. And Flat Earth is one of the fastest growing truths in the world right now. And, and it's exploded. You know, where there was a couple of hundred thousand videos, there's now millions of videos about Flat Earth in almost every language all over the world. The truth of Flat Earth is important to a lot of people. And I can, I can assure you, it's important to God. God doesn't like liars, and he certainly doesn't like his people being deceived. As a matter of fact, he says, be not deceived. And so, you know, the Flat Earthers begin this journey with that feeling in the pit of our stomach that something isn't right. And then we start to look with our own eyes and listen with our own ears and, and we start to observe with our own common sense. And we start to question how we experience this world, how we experience this thing we're on. And we experience it as being flat and non-moving. That's, that's how we experience it. Every human being experiences this, this particular thing we're on as being non-moving, flat and without a curve. So you, you, you start your journey and you get on the internet or you read some books or you go to some magazines, you do some research, and it doesn't take long to figure out that the Flat Earth community is onto something. 100%. And so then you go to you know the, the heliocentric model and you start to investigate it because no, no one really knows why they believe in the heliocentric model. You ask people, when did you become a spinning wet ball rocketeer? That's right, you're, if, if you believe you're on a spinning wet ball rocket, you're an astronaut, so you're a rocketeer flying through outer space. You might want to check NASA for some of that money. But, <laughs> but the truth is, is that most people that believe in the globe model have very little information about it. I had somebody, they're over here, a well-educated woman, and she's over here teaching English to Dominican youth, a wonderful ministry she has. And so we started talking about, you know, God and the world and truth and education and blah, 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 blah. And eventually, you know, the topic of flat earth came up and she goes, oh my God, you're a flat earther. I said, well, you're a spinning wet ball rocketeer. And so we got into a discussion about it and I said, well, you can ask me any question you want about the flat earth. I have most of the information. But I'll tell you what else I have. I have something you don't have. Um, and that's that you don't have the information on your own belief. You believe we're on a spinning wet ball rocket. So let me ask you some questions just to see why you believe what you believe. Because I believe that what you believe is believed because it's unfounded. You've never ever researched the spinning wet ball rocket, but yet you believe. So first and foremost, when did you become a believer in this club. And she was like, well, I, I guess when I started school. I said, and did you ever question it? She goes, no. I said, okay. So how fast are we, we wobbling on our axis? And she didn't know the answer, so I gave it to her. And then she, she, she as she's thinking, I go, how fast are we spinning? Doing this. And she again didn't know the answer. And then I asked her, how fast we were going around the sun and the moon, and she didn't know that. And then I asked, well, how fast are we flying through outer space? And of course, she didn't know that neither. Then I asked her what the curvature rate was, and she didn't know. This is an educated woman. But like I said, most people that believe in the globe have never researched the globe. They've certainly never questioned it nor investigated it and just believe without absolutely no information outside of they've seen some pictures and outside of they were shown a globe in a classroom their entire lives. And for these reasons, 
the imagery placed into their mind is their belief system. That's what has, that's the foundation of their belief in the globe. But if you go to NASA, or if you go to, to Google and type in pictures of Earth, there isn't a real picture of Earth anywhere. You're not going to find a real picture of Earth. They're all cartoons. They're all Photoshop. They're not real. They're all doctor. They're composites. And then you go and you look at their live image of Earth from their interna international space rocket, whatever it is. Now um, it's barely going 14 or 17,000 miles an hour. I it but at any rate, so you go and you look at their information, and it doesn't really take a long time to realize none of it matches up, none of it makes any sense. And it's, and it's literally a lie. A lie. And you dig deeper into your research and you, you begin to see uh, the deceit is so deep. It is so obviously deep. And that brings you back to that, that, that feeling in the pit of your stomach that you've been lied to. And you start to get a sense of satisfaction, a sense of healing. So why is it important to truth? It's important to truth because the truth heals. It, it heals something that's been broken within us and, and it's very important that if you're going to live this life that you live it, healed. You, it's very difficult to, to successfully run a race with a broken life. And so for that reason, the truth is important. And so, you know, you'll talk to these heliocentric fools and you say to them, well, you know, NASA, there's a lot of problems with NASA. And, and, and some of them will even agree. Well, I, yeah, okay, well, NASA, I don't trust NASA, uh, but I go to blah, 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 blah. They go to all these other space agencies. And I go, but let's stick with NASA. I don't trust the other ones neither. If you look at their information, it's, it's no better than NASA. But with that being said, let's stick with NASA. You, you realize there's a reason why they're lying. And that should bother you. But it doesn't bother you. And like I said, you know, to whom does this truth matter? To whom does flat earth matter? And so these people that it doesn't really matter the truth and it doesn't really affect them or it doesn't encourage them to seek truth. They've never had that feeling in the pit of their stomach. They've never been connected to this world in a way where they've ever felt like they've been being lied to. Because even when they are lied to and blatantly and obviously and come to the knowledge of them being lied to, it doesn't seem to bother them. And, and, and I know this is true because there are a lot of relationships in this world where one spouse is lying to the other spouse, in some cases they're lying to each other, and they just don't seem to care. You almost become complacent and accept being lied to, and it doesn't bother you. And, and so, there are people that, that, that flat earth doesn't matter to them. They don't care if we're on a ball, or, or if we're on a, a flat surface. To them it doesn't matter. Because it doesn't matter in all the other areas of their lives as well. They don't care that they're being lied to. It doesn't bother them to be lied to. I've spoken to people about, you know, this, this Donald Trump and Hillary issue, the liberals against Republicans and, and you know, they, they, they wanted Hillary because they felt Hillary was less of a liar than Donald Trump or they wanted Trump because he was less corrupt than Hillary Clinton and to me that's that's troublesome I, I'm not okay with less than I'm not going to invite somebody to my home that is less a thief than the other person well one guy will steal your TV the other guy will only steal 20 bucks out of your wallet now, I don't want either in my home and I don't want liars in my life. I don't want liars in my mind. I don't want liars in my world that I would repeat their lies 
un unknowingly or unwittingly. I, I don't want to be a repeater of lies. You see, that's the problem with today's world is that, you know, people ask me, well, how are they keeping these lies? I'm like, well, they're not keeping them. You are. You're the one spreading the lies. If you're telling your children or people that we're living on a spinning wet ball rock and you've never investigated it and you've never looked into it and you don't know anything about it, but you're just telling people what you believe because you were told, you're the liar. If it's a lie and you're the one repeating it, guess what? You are the liar. There's another reason why flat earth truth matters. Because I don't want to be a liar. I don't want to be a person spreading lies to people I claim to love. I love my children. I love my grandchildren. I love the people in my life. I do not want to lie to them. The truth matters. A great deal of the truth matters a great deal. You can either accept the lies or you can investigate and come out the other end knowing that in fact you were lied to or you can be complacent or you can be a repeater of lies and not even know you're lying because you didn't have the courage to go and investigate it. Or maybe you just didn't have that feeling in the pit of your stomach that something wasn't right. And if that's true, <laughs> then you scare me. You see, I don't want to be on a journey with anybody that doesn't have a feeling in the pit of their stomach when something's about to go wrong. I don't want to be in a life with people that aren't aware of their surroundings and that aren't in tune to what's true and what's not. I want to trust that you and I are, are evenly yoked. I want to trust that you and I are on the same page. I want to trust that if I think something's not right, I want you to trust my instincts and be in tune to my instincts and that you would feel the same thing. The truth matters, especially in these times where truth is being exposed. It matters to people that don't like being lied to. It matters to people that don't want to repeat lies unknowingly. This is why we look into the truth. This is why we look into these things. This is why we investigate these things. This is why we have YouTube channels. This is why we don't fear the mocking and the backlash from the unbelievers because we, 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 we hold truth above all that. To me, the truth is more important than how you treat me. To me, to me, telling people they've been lied to holds a lot more value than me thinking that I'm super smart because I have all this knowledge that I'm going to tell people and not even know it was a lie. Being intelligent, or as they say in Spanish, inteligente, doesn't necessarily define you as being wise. It just means that you have a very good brain and that you can retain information well or that you can remember information well, which is applied to a system which gives you false information in order to be a slave in a deceived system. Wisdom knows that the system is deceived. Wisdom opens up a door for eyes to see and ears to hear in that you would see the system for what it really is. You might be smart enough in the system to apply the knowledge of the system as a slave to the system, but are you wise enough to step outside of the system and take a look at exactly what it is? The truth's important. The truth is very, very, very important. If it wasn't, I wouldn't bother with this channel. If the truth wasn't important, I wouldn't concern myself with telling people and being mocked and insulted as a result of sharing truth. So is Flat Earth important? 
absolutely 100% for sure. It's important to those that don't want to be lied to or repeat lies that they've been told. Is it a salvation issue? It can lead to one. If people believe science over scripture, if people believe science over God, because they think that we're on a spinning wet ball rocket hurtling through outer space at unimaginable speeds, and that there's no need for God, then it leads to a salvation issue. Maybe not yours, but it might lead to somebody else's. And if the only thing you care about is your salvation, I would assert that you don't have it. Because people with true salvation know its importance and share the truth to remove the deceptions that become salvation issues for others. I ask that God bless this channel. If you enjoy this channel, if you enjoy the messages, sub the channel, share the videos, hit the like button, hit that bell, get the updates. God bless you guys. I'm working on a big video. It's coming out in the next few days. You guys take care of yourselves.